Germany's Leopard 2 main battle tank has a reputation as one of the finest in the world, competing for that distinction with proven designs such as the American M1 Abrams and the British Challenger 2. However, that reputation for nigh invincibility has faced setbacks on Syrian battlefields and placed Berlin in a uniquely awkward national level dispute with Turkey, its fellow NATO member. Ankara had offered to release a German political prisoner in exchange for Germany upgrading the Turkish army's older model Leopard 2A4 tank, which had proven embarrassingly vulnerable in combat. However, on January 24th, public outrage over reports that Turkey was using its Leopard 2s to kill Kurdish fighters in the Syrian enclaves of Afrin and Manbij forced Berlin to freeze the hostage for tanks deal. The Leopard 2 is often compared to its near contemporary, the M1 Abrams. In truth, the two designs share broadly similar characteristics, including a scale-tipping weight of well over 60 tons of advanced composite armor, 1500 horsepower engines allowing speeds over 40 miles per hour and, for certain models, the same 44 caliber 120 mm main gun produced by Rheinmetall. Both types can easily destroy most Russian-built tanks at medium and long ranges, at which they are unlikely to be penetrated by return fire from standard 125mm guns. Furthermore, they have better sights with superior thermal imagers and magnification that make them more likely to detect and hit enemies first. Historically, an even greater determinant of the victor in armored warfare than sheer firepower. A Greek trial found that moving Leopard 2s and Abramses hit a 2.3 meter target 19 and 20 times out of 20, respectively, while a Soviet T-80 scored only 11 hits. The modest differences between the two Western tanks reveal different national philosophies. The Abrams has a noisy 1500 horsepower gas-guzzling turbine, which starts up more rapidly while the Leopard 2's diesel motor grants its greater range before refueling. The Abrams has achieved some of its extraordinary offensive and defensive capabilities through the use of depleted uranium ammunition and armor packages, technologies politically unacceptable to the Germans. Therefore, later models of the Leopard 2A6 now mount a higher velocity 55 caliber gun to make up the difference in penetrating power, while the 2A5 Leopard introduced an extra wedge of spaced armor on the turret to better absorb enemy fire. This brings us to Turkey, a NATO country with which Berlin has important historical and economic ties, but which has also had bouts of military government and waged a controversial counterinsurgency campaign against Kurdish separatists for decades. In the early 2000s, under a more favorable political climate, Berlin sold 354 of its retired Leopard 2A4 tanks to Ankara. These represented a major upgrade over the less well-protected M60 Patton tanks that made up the bulk of Turkey's armored forces. The 2A4 model was the last of the Cold War era Leopard 2s, which were designed to fight in relatively concentrated units in a fast-paced defensive war against Soviet tank columns not to survive IEDs and missiles fired by ambushing insurgents in long-term counterinsurgency campaigns, where every single loss was a political issue. The 2A4 retains an older boxy turret configuration, which affords less protection from modern anti-tank missiles, especially to the generally more vulnerable rear and side armor, which is a bigger problem in a counterinsurgency environment, where an attack may come from any direction. In 2017, Germany began rebuilding its tank fleet, building an even beefier Leopard 2A7V model, more likely to survive in a counterinsurgency environment. Now Ankara is pressing Berlin to upgrade the defense on its Leopard 2 tanks, especially as the domestically produced Altay tank has been repeatedly delayed.